brush our teeth. Mm. Yummy. but also with grocery shopping. This meal I'm about to make, the sweet chili beef and green bean bowl, only takes about 20 minutes, and they have quick and easy meals that take as little as 15 minutes to make, and they're so delicious. HelloFresh saves you all the hassle of having to go to the grocery store and wait in those long checkout lines because they deliver pre-portioned ingredients and easy to prepare meals straight to your door. It's springtime, so I'm on the vibe of just trying to be outside in that nice warm weather and trying to cut out all of the hassle that comes with meal time, so HelloFresh has you covered for that. And if you're looking to save, especially to free up some savings for a little vacation fund, HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% cheaper than takeout. I'm gonna whip this up really quick and then we'll try it together, do a little taste test. <laughs> So yummy, mm, I'm excited. Taste test time. Mmm. Not fire. I think this is one of my favorites. Like it? Yeah, 10 out of 10. Fire. This is definitely 10 out of 10. Honestly, I've never had a bad HelloFresh meal. They are all equally really, really good. So you definitely can't go wrong. Mmm. Make sure you guys go check out HelloFresh for some delicious meals. You can go to HelloFresh.com and use code JujuDes50 for 50% off, plus your first box ships free. And one more time, in case you didn't hear it, go to HelloFresh.com and use code JujuDes50 for 50% off, plus your first box ships free. What's good, JD fam? Welcome back to another video. We're about to head out soon to go to this big store called Nebraska Furniture Mart because we do not have blinds on our house still. And they're actually starting to build more houses like right next door and across the street. So it's definitely time to get some blinds because we're gonna have some neighbors. We're gonna have a lot of workers outside of our house like 24 seven. So yeah, we need our privacy. These people actually come and measure all the windows and everything and install them. We're probably gonna be out for a while because I actually have something else really exciting today. I decided to hire a cleaning service. They're gonna come today and do a whole thorough deep clean in my house. Like I mean, they're gonna clean all the window seals. They're doing it all. I decided that it's time to start getting some help around here and delegating because me and Julius are just like, really overwhelmed with everything that we need to do all the time and getting some help in areas like that is gonna free up so much more time and just overall make us a lot more happy and we'll be able to actually do more like actual fun things with Koa rather than just being in the house all the time doing boring duties that like you guys don't wanna see. I have noticed a lot of comments about people saying that our content's not the same. They wanna see us do like more fun stuff and go on vacations. So we have some fun vacations planned and we're just really trying to get back to our old selves and actually just do a lot more. I feel like it's been quite a while since we like fully felt like 100% ourselves because it's just been so much adjustment in our life. First, obviously adjusting to becoming new parents. And then once we like finally got the hang of that, 
boom, we moved to a whole different state where we didn't know anything, barely ever been here before. So that was a big adjustment as well. And actually when we lived in California, we did have cleaners and they would come every single week and they honestly became like a part of our family. We love them so much. We still miss them to this day. We spent more time with them than like anybody else in our life because we literally saw them every single week. They saw Diggy grow up from when we first got him as a little puppy. They saw Koa grow up and uh, I just miss them so much. I wish they could have came with us out here. But since we moved out here, we haven't had that help. So it's been like a lot to clean this whole house, cook all the time. Not that I'm complaining. I know so many people have to do this every single day, but if it's just gonna make us happier, then why not do it? Like I know people are probably gonna have opinions about it, but I honestly don't care. I used to be like kind of embarrassed to share that we had cleaners, but I mean, it's not like I don't clean the house. You still have to maintain your house all the time. Like every single day, you still have to wash dishes. You still have to, you know, wipe down your counters. You still have to pick up, wash clothes. So it's not like I don't have to clean anymore, but it does help to get that deep cleaning. Like bathrooms that we don't even really use the other bathrooms often. So I don't really clean them unless we have like guests coming. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, I've been in the gym though. You know what I'm saying? We got these. Yeah, he's been working out a but lot. I've been working out every single day. I'm trying to get, dang, I can't even be in the camera. Man. I got Why? Right here and all that stuff. You look handsome, babe. Look at me. I look like Rudolph. Babe, remember the days when you used to let me do your makeup and all kinds of crazy challenges? I never do my makeup ever again. <laughs> we came across that video and he wanted to delete it. Honestly, you guys are right. We have definitely kind of got like too comfortable in just the mundane, routine part of life and it's time to step out of that and start living and getting back to ourselves so that's why i'm literally so excited for this whole cleaning crew to come i'm like oh just bless my life thank you please help me out help a girl out sometimes when you're not feeling your best you guys it is hard to actually get up and do things like that i do clean but i'm just saying like it's hard to have the energy sometimes when you're not feeling like yourself to actually sit there and do a thorough clean when you just feel drained from like everything else we've also been playing with the idea of finding a babysitter that can come regularly like at least once a week so that me and Julius can have like dates and everything. Before Koa was born, we always made it a point to go on at least one date a week minimum at least. I know, but like at least, we used to at least go on one date a week and now like it's so rare. It, we're lucky if it happens once a month and that's just like not good for our relationship. So we need to start going on more dates. We need to just even have time to actually work and do fun things that you guys might enjoy seeing us do that we can't necessarily do with Koa. I don't know, it is a hard decision because we're, me and Julius are just so protective of Koa, but we just need to start doing things like that and getting some help. I don't know, we'll keep you guys updated on if we actually pull the plug and decide to do it. It's really hard to trust somebody with your child though, so we're gonna have to do interviews. So hopefully this opens up a whole new era for us and we just have a lot more time to be like our happy best versions of ourselves for you guys. House is nice and clean. Let me show you guys a quick little overview. Got Dula right there just chilling like he owns the place. <laughs> nice clean kitchen. The rooms are clean. Everything's nice and clean, you guys. We're on our way. Good morning, you guys. Guess where I'm going today. Just take a guess. Come on. You see the outfit? Little workout set. You see the mood? Happy. I'm going to Pilates. I'm going to Pilates for my first time since moving to Texas and I'm so excited because you guys no, I have been telling you the main thing that I miss about California is my damn Pilates classes. So I just went ahead last night and just booked one. I'm like, who cares if it's a little bit of a drive? It's really not even that far. Like I used to drive like 20 minutes to my Pilates class back in California anyways. So like, girl, just make the drive. If you want it, you'll do it. Ugh, this lighting is atrocious. So as you can tell, I am just full on pumped. Like. 
You guys don't even understand. It was like a part of me was missing. Now I'm being dramatic, but honestly, Pilates is just my little hobby that I like to do. It's my little alone time, my little time to just get that adrenaline rush and feel really good about myself. And I honestly just have an amazing day. It's just like a lot of people love going to the gym, but I can't really go to the gym because I'm not good at like self-motivating myself in the gym, so. Pilates classes, I have no choice because they're like watching you and they're like, girl, come on, you got eight more to go. Five, four, three, two, you know? It helps keep me hype. I really hope that I enjoy this class because I saw that they even have like 7 a.m. classes. So that would be super perfect to kind of like beat any early traffic and be done with my class by like 8 a.m. and back home by 8.30. That's usually barely when I'm even starting to make my coffee in the morning. Fingers crossed that this is a good studio. Where I'm actually going, I saw that there's like a few studios right all around in the same area, but this was the only one that had any available. Ability. The other ones are like all booked up hoodies. The only thing is I really need to get my own car because I'm lugging around this big old truck which might I add is a gas guzzler. Like when I tell you we have to put gas nearly every single day or at least every other day, it's just atrocious. So I'm gonna need to do something about that because I just don't wanna be making these drives in this big old truck. Like if I had something like more lean, <laughs> just like a little smaller body, SUV type of vibe, like I don't really want a car, but I don't want a huge SUV either, just like a midsize, you know, like mom car vibe. I guarantee once I get back home I'm gonna be on empty but I just don't know what kind of car I want to get and it's like a big decision because then you're stuck with it <laughs> so I need to make sure it's one that I really want anywho I am gonna try my best to get a little bit of vlog footage but you know your girl's shy especially because I've never been over here to the studio I don't want them like girl you're weird put the camera down and work out but I'm gonna try at least I'm gonna get like the beginning walk-in footage on my phone because I'm not bringing this camera in no way and maybe after we'll even go to a cute little coffee shop okay I made it to Pilates I almost couldn't find it and I almost couldn't find parking because there's a parking garage here but this truck is too tall to fit under there so I was freaking out for a second but I figured it out I hope Hopefully I don't get towed or anything because that would be really, really bad. Anyways, I'm gonna go in. I'm kind of running a little bit late now after that whole debacle. Okay, I am done with my Pilates class and my legs literally feel like jelly. I'm super rusty because I haven't worked out in a really long time. So that was like very difficult to get through. As you can see, I'm like nice and sweaty. And let's just call it a healthy glow. But that was a really great class. I think I'll definitely book again. But right now there is a really yummy coffee place right across the street. It's actually the one that I had looked up. I didn't realize how close it was. It's called La La Land. I know they have one in California too, so it's like, I'm just getting all the feels. They really do have like everything out here in Dallas that they have in California. So it's just about, you know, getting out and actually doing it. So let's go get a yummy coffee and then head back home to my little Koa guy. He probably misses his mama. Just kidding, he probably doesn't even care if I'm home or not because when he's with his dad. really cute but kind of packed I think because it's a Friday morning and everybody's like in the little coffee meetings coffee talk kind of vibes so this is what it looks like I got the la la land latte I think it's called I honestly just made like a random decision on one that was highlighted because I didn't know what I wanted and I didn't want to like make her wait the one I actually got I guess it kind of has like cold foam kind of like how Starbucks does but she said that they make theirs with honey instead instead of vanilla so let's give it a taste test Mm. I definitely taste the honey. That's really, really good. Mmm. Mmm, that's fire. If you like sweet coffee, this is definitely a good one to get. I like my coffee a little bit more strong. I think the cold foam is pretty sweet. Usually I don't get cold foam, but it's nice to switch it up. I definitely rate this a 10 out of 10. And how cute is the little stopper? It's a heart. 
You guys see this? And when I left, I saw this place on TikTok and somebody said that they tell you I love you, but I forgot about that. And then when I grab my coffee to leave, they go, bye, love ya. <laughs> That's so sweet, isn't it? Why do all coffee places either have to give you like a compliment or just be super nice? This place takes it like way beyond because they actually tell you love you, which is really nice. You know what? Not everybody hears that every day. So you can go get your coffee every morning and hear I love you. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh. This is called the Lala Dream Toast. Yummy, do you guys see that? It's like avocado toast with burrata on top and then chili flakes. Let's give this a taste, baby. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. I gotta come back here again. This is like a good 30 minutes from my house, but I don't care. Oh my goodness. One last bite and then I'm gonna go home. <laughs> Everything about this place, 10 out of 10. Today was a successful morning. Now let me take my butt back home. Love you guys, if you haven't heard it today. Okay, let's just hold it then.